Hi everybody, Westwood Archer here again. Um, I've been asked by um, one or two of my customers to do a review on the uh, slick stick, the Bodnik slick stick, um, following the review I did on the Mohawk uh, a few weeks back. And I've been very kindly um, lent this model here. They're 58 inch long. This particular one is uh, 40 pound at 28 inch. Um, and they've said, um, can you do a review please? So yeah, here I am. Um, right, what do you need to know about the bow? Um, as mentioned, it's 58 inch long. Um, it's very compact. Uh, it's beautifully put together. I mean, it really is. Whether you can see along there or not, um, the finish on these are just really, really nice. Um, this is bamboo along here and just a naturally good looking bow. Um, the grip for me is, I find a little on the small side, um, but then I'm used to shooting my Mohawk, uh, the recurve, the Bodnik recurve, so that could have something to do with it. Um, but yet it is just a hard to the bone, do everything, really good bow. Um, money wise, off the top of my head, I think it's about 258 euros if memory serves me right. Uh, and performance per buck, if you like, is incredible. It's incredibly uh, quiet. Um, this particular customer has um, ordered this with the beaver uh, fluff balls on. Uh, my personal opinion is they're a little bit redundant on here. They suit the style of the bow, um, for sure. Um, but I have an idea it's slowing the, the action down a little bit too much. Uh, if it were mine, I'd, I'd probably strip these off and try without and do a back-to-back -back test. But as I say, this is not my bow. Um, there's zero hand shock to it. It's extremely light. I don't actually know the, um, the, the, the figures for these. Um, if I find it out, I'll put it in the uh, description at the bottom of the video. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, my carter tips, um, so it'll take the link latest string types. Um, in fact, this one is delivered uh, with a Bodnik Whisper string, uh, which are very quick, very high performance. They take a little bit of bedding in these strings. They do tend to stretch a fair bit for the first, I don't know, 80, 100 shots, and then they settle down quite nicely. Um, I've got two other bows indoors, including the Mohawk, and I've got whisper strings on both of these. Um, yeah, that's that's about all I can tell you with it, really. It's an uncomplicated, pick it up, go and shoot bow. Um, I was very, very torn between one of these and a Mohawk when it came time to um, to buy my own and it was a really really difficult decision um, basically I opted for the Mohawk because I already have a long bow and I, I wanted something that was takedown but this came so so close to, to, to be in mind one of these um, I've shot now three different poundages uh, I believe 30 pound 50 pound and this one 40 pound and they all perform they really do they're, they're, they're really nice bows to shoot um, yeah. Ah, one other thing. With this order came these arrows. Now this is my first experience of these. This is the um, Pentathlon Timber Stick Slimlines. And they are absolutely beautiful arrows. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm surprised. Um, I normally shoot a different uh, manufacturer, um, but just when I opened them up, I was like, wow, the colour of them, the quality is really, really good. Um, I, I don't know, I, I haven't shot these very much. I've probably put, I don't know, 60, 70 shots through this bow with these arrows just to uh, make myself a little bit more used to it before doing the video. Um, 
I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd give them a go, I think. Um, I would say this is something completely new to me. I'm not sure about these points. Um, this is what the, um, the, the, the Bodnik points that come kind of slightly over the end of the shaft. I think about two mil over. Um, and that, the idea of that is to protect the end of the shaft. And I find there's, there's a bit of a lip there for when you're pulling it out of targets. Um, having said that, it's probably a worthwhile thing to put up with for protecting the shaft. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty. Um, uh, they fly very, very nicely as well. Right, let's see this thing in action. Um, I'm only shooting, I think it's about 12, 13 yards, something like that. Um, and uh, if you have any questions uh, regarding the uh, Pentalon uh, Slimline Timber Sticks or the bow, then you can uh, post them up in the comments section below. Okay. Here we go. I've got no um, knock point on the string as yet, so we shall see. Very, very quiet. Nice to shoot, actually. I could imagine taking this on an all-day 3D shoot, no problem at all. Yeah. These arrows are not spined for my draw length. My draw length is slightly shorter than the customer that they are going to. Hence, they're a touch on the stiff side for me. You can tell that by them going to the left of my mark. A little bit better. But really, really smooth. Nice to draw as well. A nice grouping. Unfortunately, it's about five inches to the left and slightly above the uh, point of aim. Ah, that one was better. Starting to compensate now to adjust. My brain's adjusting for it. Still early morning here in the Vestervald. It's gone back to where it was now. Concentrate. Uh, let's do this one and then we'll have a look. Okay, so there we have it guys. It's the Bodnik Slick Stick, 58 inch long, 40 pound. Really lovely bow, thoroughly recommended. Let's have a little zooming session. In fact, let's take you up range. Here we are. I say for an unfamiliar bow that I'm quite pleased with. In fact, there's three nearly in the same hole there. But yeah, it's not about my lack of prowess <laughs> uh, shooting. It's all about the bow. That's it for now, guys. If you have any questions, as I say, um, put them in the uh, comments at the bottom here underneath the video.